Hey guys, what's going on? So it's actually, I, I meant to do an update every week on the hydro versus aquaponics, but it's actually been two weeks. I just whew, got so busy there. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, it's kind of like what I expected. The hydro is doing a little bit better, but you know, you got to take into consideration some things like some plants weren't quite as big as others. And then, you know, the shock of of transplanting them, you know, taking them all out of the dirt and putting the bare roots in the, into the nutrient solution and the aquaponics. So it'll take a little bit, you know, a little bit of time to get it really tested out. So I'll go ahead and show you guys the footage I got of that. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to update within a week next time because it's not going to be with about four weeks of growing. This should be all the way going. So anyways, uh, here we go. Let's check it out. All right. So here's the... Uh the first aquaponic bed here. Um, everything's looking pretty good. I mean, it's actually growing pretty nice. You know, it's probably a little crowded in here. Uh, but the kale's looking really good. Uh, lettuces looking good. Uh, this was not quite doing as well. And there's a little bit of discoloration on the leaves here. And that could have been me having the lights really close. They could have touched it and scorched it a little bit. Now, coming over here to the second aquaponic bed, we can see that... Uh, you know, lettuce is back there doing, that's the um, butter crunch. And the kale's looking a little scraggly. I don't know if it got down. It may not be into the water really well. Uh, it looks like it's in there pretty good. Maybe actually in there a little bit too well, but I'm not going to mess with it. It'll come around. Here we got some other lettuce. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the hydro, the cracky hydro. <sighs> well, right now on this level, it looks like the uh, cracky has a slight edge. You know, a little bit of discoloration on that leaf there, but that could be from a number of things. Same thing with the light, I believe. It could have been hitting it. I've been having to raise them up a little bit. Um, the butter crunch, uh, comparable. There's one there. Uh, aquaponics, cracky, you know. And these are in pretty tight. Uh, plus, these, you know, these had to um, all get past the initial shock because they were... Uh, growing in dirt, so you know, this will shock or transplant. Now we're here with the master blend. Once again, this is the can of nutrients right here. So, according to the master blend, I mean, that kale is looking really sharp right there. Um, and that spinach is really doing its thing as well. So, so, so far, right now, it's been about two weeks, I think, since I made that first video. And, uh, I would say that the uh, hydro has a little bit of an edge, but I have a feeling that the uh, aquaponics is actually going to make a little bit of a comeback on that. Let's go ahead and look at the other the other bed system I have. The other whole tank set up over here. This is nothing but aquaponics, but it's still growing the same thing for the sake of this experiment. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here's the bed over here and. The, this aquaponic system here is a little bit older, by the way, than the one we were just looking at. I think this one's like about six months old, whereas the other one is three months old. Uh, lettuces are doing pretty nicely in this one. There's a little bit of yellowing on that. Um, spinach here is a little bit, not quite as compact as the other one, but the leaves are doing really nice on it. Uh, this kale stunned it a little bit, but once again, like I say, it could be a fact that it's just now starting to get into the the water, where the water is at. I mean, I kind of set it there when I started, but, you know, this kale right next to it is actually doing pretty well. Um, and over here, the clippings from the basil and stuff, uh, doing okay, partially doing okay. Now, this bed has the distinct advantage in that you can't really see it, but there's a window. And it'd probably even have more of an advantage if I'd actually clean that window. But, uh, having said that, um, this one's doing quite well. You know, so realistically, the difference so far is minimal, um, but we'll keep a tab on it. I'll try to check back in about a week or so and upload a new video for you guys and give you some more info on it, get, get some pics, see what's going on here. Once again, hey, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I know there's probably a lot of uh, different opinions on this. I'd love to hear them. Go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe, you know, don't forget to do that. Like, hate, whatever. Uh, and really look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about it. So you guys have an awesome one. Bye.